Well, if you look up in the sky today, you'll realize it's Superman Day. That's right, the anniversary of the first appearance of Superman is today, and with that, James Gunn dropped a really interesting picture with some clues for the upcoming film. Oh, and he's joined by his new Lois and Superman. Let's go ahead and check out the picture, what clues he dropped there, and why, once again, he's given us an indication of the story he's trying to tell. Now, before we do that, though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently, so you are in the know. Well, if you follow me on social media, you know one thing we like to do is celebrate comic book history. And on this day in 1938, the Man of Steel made his very first appearance in Action Comics number 1. That makes today a Superman Day, and with that, you're seeing celebrations across social media. Now, to no surprise, James Gunn has chimed in and dropped a really interesting picture of him along with Rachel Brosenheim and David Cornsweet checking out some Superman comics. Let's go ahead and look at the picture. Now, as you notice there, each one of them is checking out a classic issue of Superman. And with that, I think James Gunn is giving us a couple of clues. So, let's dive into what issues each person is looking at. Now, if you look at what Rachel Brosenheim is reading, that is an issue of All-Star Superman. Something James Gunn has talked about a lot when it comes to his version of the character and the stories he's leaning into for inspiration. It's really no surprise she's looking at it in probably the most predictable one. Now, when you look at James Gunn's comic, he is actually reading Superman issue number one. Now, this isn't that action comics we're celebrating today. It's a completely different issue. But I think if you look at this cover, what he's giving you is a bit of a clue and a potential peek at the Superman suit. The classic Superman's logo resembles his logo a little more than the more contemporary versions of it. And yes, this version of Superman does indeed have the red trunks, which at this point I believe will be part of the DCU costume. Now, when it comes to David Cornsweet, well, that's where it gets interesting. Because the comic he's reading is actually Action Comics 114 from way back in 1947. In this comic, Superman scours the city in search of an honest man. And although I have never read it, I did check out his summary, and once again, I think this is a nod to the type of world this Superman will exist in. We speculated a lot because Kingdom Come has been referenced so much, this will be a darker, cynical, and less, well, superhero-ish world of superheroes, and it seems to me Superman at this point will be that beacon of honesty, light, and goodness that this particular world, the new DCU, may earnestly lack. Now, obviously, this is just all theories on my part, and I might just be speculating a little bit about what comics they're reading, but these pictures are never, ever by accident. And Gunn is almost always sending us some sort of message in his post, just the clues really aren't as apparent till many months or sometimes years later. Now we know the film is currently in production down in Atlanta, Georgia, and will fly its way into theaters next July. This is really, really early in the process, and I think Gunn is going to continue to give us these sort of cryptic clues all along, but what we're really looking for is some set pictures and that costume reveal, which many people think might take place today. And if that does happen, we'll do another video, because I think that's the biggest news in Superman in a really long time time.